Right. Second Corinthians chapter 13 verse 14. King James translation. Second Corinthians. Okay. I'm already for you. I didn't prepare him. I hope he catches up with me. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. Amen. Now, let me read it in another translation. The NIV translation. It says, May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And the church said, Amen. Amen. So, we have been talking about the outpouring of the Spirit, but I want to talk tonight for a short moment. I want to talk to us about the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Everybody said the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Before I talk about the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, I just want to remind us a few things about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is God. He is the spirit that proceedeth from the Father. John 15, 29. He is the spirit that proceedeth from the Father. Bishop Kisoto Karibu. God bless you, sir. He is the spirit that proceedeth from the Father. He is co-equal with the Father. He is one with the Father. Inseparable with the Father. And I told you during the day, the Holy Spirit is the one in charge of all the operations. He's the one who is on top of all of God's operations. He's operations officer. During creation, he's the first one to be mentioned separately. The Bible says, in the beginning, Elohim. That's plural for God. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. But the Spirit of the Lord brooded over the deep, moved over the face of the deep. He is always moving. The Spirit of God is always moving. And when he moves, wonders happen. When he moves, things become perfect. When he moves, the impossible become possible. When he moves, God's power is seen in reality. See, God is so powerful. The Bible says all power belongs to him. It says all power. All power there is belongs to God. But the power is manifested when the spirit of God moves. Oh, glory to God. When he moved in Egypt, Egypt could no longer hold the children of Israel. They had to let go by force. By the power of God. When the, when, the power, when the Spirit of God moves, a stick can become anything. When the power of God moved, when the Spirit of God was moving, when God was talking to Moses, told him, what do you have? You see, when God is dealing with you, he doesn't look for so much. He can use anything that you have. He can use anything that you have. And work wonders with it. What do you have? That is the question in the mouth of God many times. What do you have? It doesn't matter how small it is. It doesn't matter how insignificant you think it is. God can use anything. Anything at all. To turn your life into a supernatural life. God can use anything. And work wonders with it. Moses said. This is my stick. I am a shepherd. This is my stick. He has to put it down. He put it down. And he took off. He so said, this is a viper. He said, no, 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 Moses, hold, 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 no, come back. Pick it up again. Pick it up. You know, I'm imagining if, you know, my wife was around there where God is telling someone to, put, to pick up a snake. <laughs> and some of you here, men, I mean, God is telling you to pick up a snake. He will call you and you come back after some kilometers. Told him, pick it up. He picked up. And when he picked up, he became... He became a stick again. Now Moses knew I am dealing with God. 
and with a rod, <laughs> with a staff, he did wonders in Egypt. See, the Spirit of God is always moving. But can you acknowledge him? Can you acknowledge his move in your life? Can you acknowledge his work in your life? You see? And you see, I told you during the day, many people, many Christians have ignored the Holy Spirit. They have taken him for granted completely. And that's why they are missing God. That's why they are frustrated in Christianity. They fast and fast and fast and fast. And they think their fasting is what will change things without the Holy Spirit. They are ignorant about the, the, the move of the Spirit of God in their life. And you see, he's always moving. He's always doing something in your life. I pray for you tonight that you don't be like Jacob. Jacob was right where God is moving. But he didn't know. God ministered and moved in that place. And when he woke up, this is what he said. You mean God was here the whole time and I didn't know. Say, I refuse to be ignorant of the move of God in my life. You know, right now, God is moving in your business. Right now, God is moving in your family. Right now, God is moving in your business. Right now, there is a move of God in everything that concerns you. I said there is a move of God on everything that concerns you. Right now, there is a move of the Spirit of God. He's always moving. He's always moving, fixing things, turning things around. Oh, hallelujah. Raise your hand and testify. Say, there is a move of God in my life. There is a move of God. Say, and I can see it. Say, I can see it. I participate in it. I am not ignorant. Hallelujah. This Spirit of God is the one. Listen, you can never become anything with God without the Holy Spirit. He changes men by His Spirit. Adam actually, before he sinned, was alive, was like God, had God's nature, God's, God's lifestyle, God's everything, because the Holy Ghost was the one he was living by. When he sinned, the Holy Ghost left. When the Holy Ghost left, he was out of the presence. He became a natural man who had to deal with nature. You see, that's why for you to become a Christian, you have to be born again. You are born of the Spirit and the Word. He says we are not born, he says being born again of the incorruptible seed of the word of God that liveth and abideth forever. Glory to God. The one who really makes you a child of God is the spirit of God. He comes, takes away the old man, the old man dies and now you are a new creation and you are alive in him. And you begin to live by him. Hallelujah. 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 You see, right now, there is a move of God in your life. Right now. Right now. I'm talking about now. Right now. Right now. The move of God is happening in your life. There's a move of God in your farm. There is a move of God in your, in your, on your cows. There is a move of God. There is a move of God over my silence. And barrenness is being broken. By the power of God's spirit, barrenness. You know, there are people you've been laboring, 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 laboring in vain. Not anymore, not anymore, not anymore. The move of God is changing things. I sense the move of God. I sense the move of God. Things are not the same. Things are not the same. Things are not the same way they were before you came in here. I'm talking to you right now. I'm saying things are not the same way they were before you came here. There is a move of God. It's a move of the Spirit of God. In the church, in the body of Christ, there is a move, there is a move, there is a move. Raise your hand and say, there is a move, there is a move, there is a move, there is a move. Glory to Jesus Christ. But I want to teach us something. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. The word fellowship, the word fellowship is from a Greek word called koinonia. Everybody say koinonia. Say koinonia. Say it again, koinonia. I can't hear those of you at the back. Say koinonia good. Koinonia means several words. Number one, fellowship. It means fellowship. Number two, it means association. Association. It means community. Association. Everybody say association. 
Do you have some associates of yours? Some of you have your business associates. In our church, we have associate pastors. We pastor together. We are a team together. We belong to the same team. Associates. Now the Holy Spirit, his fellowship brings us to be associates of God. Associates of God. Associates of God. It also means community. It means communion. It means a very powerful thing. Joint participation. Joint participation. And it means intercourse. Intimate intercourse. Glory to Jesus Christ. Those are the powerful words. In one word called communion. And you see many Christians. They use that particular scripture. As service closing benediction. In fact. In some places if I just out of nowhere say. And now the grace. They, some people will take off. And leave the service. They, they will think the service has come to an end. But there's more to that. This is a divine instruction. From the apostle Paul. As a divine instruction to the church. A divine instruction and a divine commandment. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion, the association, the joint partnership of the Holy Spirit be with you all. You see, the Holy Spirit has come to dwell in us and he is a person. You see, before I I mean, in the beginning of this service, we were feeling some, some power, some thing. Something was happening. Did you feel something? He's more than a feeling. Many Christians are not able to cross over from that place of feeling. Feeling the fire. Feeling the shaking. Feeling some, some sort of emotional bubbling in your spirit. They are not able to cross over from there. When that feeling, that emotion is not there, they don't know what to do anymore. And they're always looking for that feeling. They are always looking for that feeling. Why? They are, they are, they are conscious of the Holy Spirit as someone who brings about or something. You know, some of you even, you keep calling the Holy Spirit something. A voice is telling you to get out of the road. And then you get out of the road. An accident happens right there where you are standing. And then... You will testify and say, something told me to get off the road. He is not a something. He is a somebody. Come on. I said, he is not a something. He is a somebody. Tell the person next to you. He likes to call him a thing. Something told me. Maybe even today, he testified telling someone something. Tell them, he is not a something. He is a somebody. He is a somebody. He is more than an influence. He is more than a feeling. He is more than a fire. Aye. He is more than a fire. He is a person. He is real. He is real. And listen. Listen. Your body is his headquarters. The Bible says in Corinthians, didn't you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Hi. Hallelujah. And I can't, go, I can't go into the details of that scripture. It's so powerful. But I just wanted to, to, to remind you that your body is his house. Your body is his center of operation. He works through you. He works in you. Your body is his headquarters. You house him. But you're not roommates. You're not roommates. Because you also live in your body. Is that right? You know you live in your, in your body. <laughs> now some of you now will start thinking. Now we are roommates with the Holy Spirit. You're not roommates. Second Corinthians 6.17 He that is joined to the Lord. Is one thing. One with him. One person with him. What are for me? Second Corinthians 6.17 he that is joined to the Lord is one thing, is one person, is one with him. So you're not roommates. Tell your neighbor, you are not roommates with the Holy Spirit. You are one. You're one with him. Inseparably one. You, are, you cannot be separate. We cannot separate you. 
from the Holy Spirit. But you can separate yourself from the Holy Spirit. You can just decide to walk away from him for good. Never do that in your life. Never walk away from the Holy Spirit. And let me tell you something beautiful about the Holy Spirit. How many of you have friends that are not your friends anymore? Anybody here? You have friends that are not your friends anymore? Anybody? Some of you here, you are my ex and you're not raising your hand. <laughs> Some of you young people kona my ex 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 hata saa hii umeanza kusikia vibaya je nimeanza kuongea mambo ya my ex you're even feeling bad now <laughs> let me tell you something beautiful about the holy spirit he will never leave you he will never abandon you he will never forsake you anybody may leave you hey he will never leave you pastor the holy spirit will never walk out of the door of your church he will never Mamba so posha katatata ya. And the Holy Spirit is worth, I mean, you cannot value him. He is everything. You have the Holy Spirit, you have more than the whole world. Ah. You know, sometimes, sometimes as we fellowship with the Holy Spirit, he talks to you and you are like my God. Like when I was praying, I'm praying in tongues. The Spirit of God tells me, fear not, son. I am your shield and your exceedingly great reward. He told me that. And I'm like, whoa. I have the Holy Spirit in me. He is my shield and my exceedingly great reward. It doesn't matter who leaves me. I have him, I'm sorted. You have him, you're sorted. Let me tell you, he will never leave you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Anyone can forsake you, including your mom. I think mothers are the most difficult people to leave, to leave their children. But the Bible says a mother can forget her own baby. Not, not her own grown baby. The one that is breastfeeding. The one that is breastfeeding. A mother can forget her, but the Lord will never forget his own. He will never leave you. The Holy Spirit is that friend who sticks closer than any brother. He sticks closer than any brother. And you know what? We have been brought into a partnership with him. We've been brought into a partnership with him. Your partner number one in your course of life is the Holy Spirit. Did you hear what I said? Your partner number one in your course of life is the Holy Ghost. You have him, you are sorted. You have him, he is all you need. He knows how to get to you. Everything else and everyone else. He knows how to get for you. And in this conference, the spirit of the living God will be networking the whole world for you. He will be networking the world for you. Mando Bosaka Tabaya. He will be networking the whole world for you. Bringing to you everyone and everything you will ever need. Come on. Stop stressing yourself about things. Stop stressing about anything. Work with him. That's why the Bible says, and now the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. You see, that's an instruction to always abide in fellowship with him. As long as you are in communion with the Spirit of God, you are sorted. You are sorted. He's the one who designed the universe. He is God present here in the world right now. Right now. Listen, right now, the one that expresses God in this world is the Holy Spirit. The one functioning for the, the Trinity now is the Holy Spirit. Ben Hinn called him Jesus Unlimited. Jesus everywhere. Jesus with us. God with us. God in us. God for us is the Holy Spirit. But you see, many people ignore him. Many people don't even have that consciousness of his, of his presence. You see, they don't have that consciousness that the Holy Spirit really is in them and is for them. That's why Apostle, many people, when they have financial issues, the first thing they remember, they, they, start, they start doing their calculations. How much can my, can my bank give me? How much, how much, how much can I borrow? How much can I borrow from the bank? Or 
who in my who among my friends has can get me a hundred k right now who among my friends can get me a hundred k you know they, they start wondering they start having their minds ringing like that when they are sick uh, which 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 medicine is around and you have the holy spirit and he is god and he is in you and he has everything you need he has everything you need did you ever realize that the holy spirit has everything you ever need in this life did you ever did you ever realize that he has everything you need when you need healing those of you who still need healing he's the healer and you see he even wants to make it better for you like he did for me he wants to give you divine health you see when he's in you he activates, he makes alive the divine nature that you have. The life of God that you have. The Zoe life. He makes it alive. He makes it a today's reality for you. You can't get sick. For me, I don't get sick. I have never been sick for the last 21 years now. Never been sick. Never been needing. Listen, never in need of prayer for healing. Never in need of medication. I have never been sick. Because the Holy Spirit taught me. He, he started out by that level of, by the stripes of Jesus, I was healed. I'm like, I was healed? I can never be sick in my life. And then he kept teaching me. He kept showing me more and more truths. When you walk with the Holy Spirit, you will know the Father. When you, when you walk with the Holy Spirit, you will know who you are. When you walk with the Holy Spirit, you will know the things that God has put in you. You will know the life that God has put in you. You will know that the Bible says he's the spirit of reality. He's the spirit of truth. He will reveal to you the truth of God's word. The truth of who you are. He will make Christianity a reality for you. He made Christianity a reality for me. I can never be sick in my life. Oh, I have prayed for several people with COVID-19. And they got healed. And, have, and I was not putting on a mask. And I'm okay. I'm under, I even don't think that I need a mask. Or I'm, I'm never careful to know that I'm praying for someone that is sick and this sickness they have is infection. I'm never con I lost that consciousness of sickness a long time ago. Because he's made eternal life such a reality in me. Such that all these things of this world, they don't matter. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Stop ignoring the Holy Spirit. Stop pushing him aside. Stop making him number last in your life. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? The strategy that you need to take your ministry to the next level, he has it. He has it. Thank God for wonderful books. They are bo they, I read a lot and their books are amazing. But the whole, with the Holy Spirit, he can just reveal to you one key, one secret in your life and ministry changes forever. I'm telling you, learn to fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Life with the Holy Spirit is so sweet and easy. So sweet and easy. Those of you who struggle in life, begin to walk with the Holy Spirit. He will take all of your struggles away. Did you hear what I say? He will take all of your struggles away. He becomes your, 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 your force for going forward. When you fellowship with him, this power of God that you hear about, he makes it your today's reality. He makes it your present day reality. You, be, you begin to walk in power. You begin to walk in power. Instead of seeking the miracles, you start performing the miracles. You, you, you. Without a new title, without a new ordination, you begin to walk and manifest and display and actualize the power of God in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you see, God is looking at the end time church and is so, is so, is, I mean, I don't know what he feels, but it's not good. He, Jesus died. He rose again. He sent the Holy Ghost 2,000 years ago. He sent Apostle Subi. He sent Ole Gisotu. He sent Ole Monga to preach the gospel. But many Christians are Christians that are oppressed from left to the right to the center. They are oppressed of this thing and that thing and that other thing. When will you start solving this, sol solving the problems of your world? When will you start being the light of the world that you are when many Christians are afflicted by poverty sicknesses 
diseases anxiety worry from pastors to washirika pastor is worried about rent for the church his own rent pastor is worried about sound that is not sounding well pastor is worried about the the three washirikas that are infecting the church with rebellion worried when will we ever cross over to that place where we operate from that divine level that divine level of being above all things being above all circumstances being above all situations being above all all powers all rulers all demonic forces many christians are fighting with demons fighting with demons and they think that is the fight of faith demons that jesus dealt with jesus dealt with satan the boss of all demons and he set him under your feet in fact he said satan under your feet my daughter was telling me i'm looking for shoes where they will write on the sole of my shoes devil so that it's a reminder to the devil that he's under my feet <laughs> You're fighting with the devils that are supposed to be under your feet. Jesus said, in my name, you shall cast out devils. Not fight devils. Cast out. To cast out something is not to fight it. You're casting it out. out. Tell your neighbor, stop fighting devils. Cast them out. And then many of these children of God that are fighting with devils, they are beaten. They are beaten by devils. Beaten. And Amuka Subui, she's feeling the whole back as though something was working on it. Something was working back and forth on the back. You wake up and you feel like, what happened? I don't know. It's as if something. What are you doing having demons walk on your back? What are you doing? You with all the Holy Ghost. You with all the Holy Ghost. Demons are working on you. Demons are closing your doors. What are they? Why are you allowing demons to close your doors? Your doors. You. Your doors. You. You. Your doors. You full of the Holy Ghost. You are allowing devils to close your doors. What are you doing? Allowing devils to close your doors. Cast them out of your doors. I, I, I said cast them out of your doors. Tell them to lose your finances. Tell them to lose your money. And you see, you see, many of you, when you start doing what I'm telling you, when you start casting out devils, and you see, I just wanted to speak a little bit and then I'm done. And I'm, 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 I'm getting into some space that I, I'm not sure I have the time to conclude. But listen, the more you cast out devils, the more devils discover who you are and how powerful you are. And then, listen, cast out devils. They are so afraid of you. I'm telling you the truth. Some of them, some of them are junior demons. You see, there are different levels of demons. That's why I didn't want to. But, there are different levels of, of demons. Just like there are different ranks of angels. There are different ranks of demons. There are senior demons. Senior in rank. And there are junior ones. The junior ones are very mannerless. And the junior ones are the most troublesome. And they are the ones that don't understand authority. The big ones. They most likely know who you are. Because they do a lot of research. They do a lot of hey, you know they talk about it. That's why some apostles they go to nations, they shake them. Apostle Subi goes to a nation, he turns it upside down. A whole nation, a whole country. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So they talk and they know they know people of authority. They know you, the big ones. But the small ones, they are the ones who like to step on you on your back. <laughs> <laughs> They're the ones who, who are so mannerless. <laughs> They're so mannerless. And they are so petty. And so cheeky. 
and they are the ones you have to raise your voice at. Tell them, get out! How many of you know about village dogs? Village dogs are not trained. Especially, I don't know about the dogs from your village, but the dogs from my village, they don't have manners. The visitors are busy drinking their tea or eating their lunch. They will show up in the door. If you don't shout at them, they come closer. If you don't do anything, they come closer. And they'll start staring at your visitors in a manner to suggest that, please, give me something to bite. Give me something to bite. So, and some ladies, some ladies are so, are so soft. Kandakuchi. So soft. So they will just go, but by the time the head is out of the door, and then the tail is out of the door, the head is back. There they go again. When your visitor is taking the, the, the spoon to eat the food. So some of these dogs, you have to cast them out and hit them. Now, fatisha kitu ingine, atoke kabisa. Mbaka, mbaka uskia kisema, kwa, 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 kwa. So some demons are like that. You have to be, to be vigorous at them. They are very mannerless. Get out of my house. Get out of my business. Get out of my home. Get out of my children. Lose my doors. In the name of Jesus, you must learn to say out, 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 out. Get out. Do it for practice. Do it practice. Say out. Ah, some of you are still too nice. Some of you are too soft. Those demons will just walk out and come back. You have to yell louder than that. Say out. Then some of them, some of them, their eyes matter. They express the look on your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> you know why? The senior demons, they understand. Some of them, you just look at them and they are out. Some of them, you just do this and they are out. Some of them, you just show up. They know trouble has come. They just, the big ones. But the small, small ones that are very petty, very mannerless, out! Do it, do it one more time. Raise your hand and say, out! Out of my home, out of my shop, out of my business, out of my life, out of my body, out! He says, you shall cast out devils in my name. Refuse to be a subject of devils. Refuse to be tormented by demons. Refuse to be delayed by devils. Refuse to be delayed by witches, sorcerers, demonic powers. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Raise your hand and shout, greater, greater, greater. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I refuse to be sick. I have the Holy Ghost. I refuse to faint. I have the Holy Ghost. I refuse to get stuck. I have the Holy Ghost. I refuse to my time in life. I have the Holy Ghost. The path of my life is like a shining light that shines brighter and brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. In the mighty name of Jesus. Raise your hand and shout, my life is forward and upward only by the power of God's spirit. You see, the power of God, the Holy Ghost gives you forward moving power, power to move forward, power to move forward. Listen, listen, when you learn to fellowship with the spirit of God, he gives you power to always go forward, irrespective of what is the barrier irrespective of what is the barrier no matter what is before you many people have been stopped but you i came to tell somebody tonight keep going forward keep going forward keep going forward keep going forward don't change your mind don't turn back don't turn back greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world keep going forward keep going forward the power of god is alive in you the power of god is alive in you mountain pulling down power mountain breaking power barriers breaking power limitations breaking power he said work in you you refuse to be stopped raise your hand and
and shout, I can never be stopped in my life. You're not shouting, shout it. I can never be stopped in my life. I have the Holy Ghost. I have the power of God. I cannot be stopped. I cannot be delayed. I cannot be hindered. I cannot be neutralized. I am going forward. I am going forward. Fulfilling my destiny. Fulfilling my dreams. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Shout Amen. It is not by power. It is not by power. I said it is not by power. It is not by might. But by my spirit. Says the Lord. You are going to fulfill that vision. By the power of God's spirit. You are going to fulfill your calling. All of your calling. All of your assignment. By the power of the Holy Ghost. You're going into your expected end by the power of the Holy Ghost. Makabaya. Oh, pastor, there is a sea behind but before me. Oh, pastor, there are so many barriers. Keep going forward. Raise your hand and shout forward and upward only. Forward and Job 17 20 the Bible says the path the righteous goes onward and forward raise your hand and shout I refuse to be delayed I refuse to be delayed you see in this summit the things you've waited to see the things you've waited to do for years and years and years you are suddenly going to see them by the power of the Holy Ghost the power of God's spirit is the greatest power in the whole world. The greatest power in the heavens. The greatest powers in the heavens. The greatest power on the universe. No power like the power of the spirit of God. And you have that power. You have that power. Raise your hand and shout, I'm full of power, 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 I'm full of power. In my hands I got the power, on my feet I got the power, in my body I got the power. Every cell of my body has that power. I got the power of God. I can do all things. I can do all things. I can, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can take the nation of the world I can take the nations of the world for Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost when the Holy Ghost is at work in your life it doesn't matter where you come from it doesn't matter the language you speak it doesn't matter your mother tongue it doesn't matter the village you come from this is a limitations these are a power above limitations Yes, you're from Kenya, but you're shaking the nations of the world. Yes, you're from Mausa, but you're shaking the nations of the world. Yes, you're from a village in like Tok Tok, but you're going to shake the powers of darkness, the nations of the world, because it is not by power. It is not by where you come from. It is not by the school you went to. It is not by the language you speak. It is not by the number of people you know. It is not by the number of connections you have. It is by the power of the Holy Ghost. You can, you can do all things. You can fulfill your calling. You can fulfill your destiny. You can fulfill your assignment. You can fulfill your God's agenda, the God's agenda for you. You can. Get your eyes off your papers. Get your eyes off your phone book. You don't know anybody important. You know the Holy Ghost. You are one with him. He's the most important person on the earth. And when, when things get so tough, lock yourself in your room. I don't know how many of you, you have a room. Whatever that room is, whether the kitchen or the toilet, whichever place you can lock yourself, lock yourself there and burst out in other tongues. Burst out in tongues. Do you know how to burst out in tongues? 
You know why you need to shout sometimes? You need to shout down your fears. You need to shout down your mind. You need to shout down your thoughts of fear, your thoughts of failure. You shout them down. You shout them down. You refuse to comply with the negative thoughts. You refuse to comply with the thoughts of failure. You refuse to comply with the thoughts of defeat and speak in tongues. When you speak in tongues, you rise like an edifice. The Bible says you rise like an edifice higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. Hey, I'm talking to somebody right now. Keep talking in tongues. Keep talking in tongues. You're rising higher every day. You're rising higher every day. I said you're rising higher every day. Very soon, those powers of darkness that look down upon you, those powers of darkness that you look at and they look like you can never be gone beyond them, very soon, you start looking at them down, 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 down. You've gone beyond them. One more time, raise both of your hands and shout, I can do all things. I can do all things. I can do all things. I can. 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 I can do all things. I can become anything I want. I can become anything God wants. Nothing can stop me. Nothing can hinder me. Nothing can delay me. Bust out in other tongues. Raise your voice and begin to speak in other tongues. The glory of the Lord is in this place. The glory of the Lord is in this place. I see a cloud of glory everywhere in this house. I see it. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Speak in other tongues. Speak in other tongues. Pray out loud in the Holy Ghost. Bandagada ba 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 ba. Ramato ramato ramato. Ramato 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 ramato. Ramato 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 ramato. Rebala rebala riba de reketo zo. Repele ba da 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 yisi. Paros paros paros. Paros. Paros, Paros, Paros. Go beyond that fear. Go beyond that discouragement. Go beyond that discouragement. Go beyond that voice. Go beyond that limitation. Go beyond it. Go beyond it. By the power of God's Spirit. Those of you that are watching, stand on your feet. Speak in other tongues everywhere. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Leva da ba 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 ba. Leva da ba 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 ba. Rato, rato.